Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, November 6th, 2022. This puzzle has a title, it's called Lengthening. I wonder if we're going to be stretching out our theme answers today. Alright, let's get started. One across. Opportunities for singles. Hmm, I wonder if they're talking about people who are unattached? Or maybe this is a baseball clue. This could be at bats if we're talking about baseball. That's pretty clever. Freeware annoyances. That's definitely going to be ads where you might order nopales or esquites. I've never seen either of these things before, but I'm going to guess this is a taqueria. Yeah, and that does fit. Nice. Okay. Less clear as a memory. Hmm. It's not foggier or hazier. Support group with a hyphen in its name. Is this Al-Anon? We just learned about them maybe last week. Yeah, it's for the family members of alcoholics. Wow, okay. Ankle bones are gonna be tarsi. About five o'clock compass wise. Um, I guess that's gonna be south southeast. This is looking like Dallas, isn't it? Home of the WNBA's Wings. I have not heard of the Wings before, but I think this has to be Dallas. Why the party's about to get less hip. And this is wordplay and probably a theme answer, so we have to keep lengthening in mind. It looks like it's gonna start with square. I wonder if it's gonna be square dancing? That's really funny because it's a bunch of unhip squares dancing. That makes a lot of sense, so I don't know if this is a theme answer. It doesn't feel like any lengthening is happening. Maybe this is going to be blurrier, less clear, yeah. Army award attribute. That has to be heroism. Actress Moriarty of the boys. I don't think I've heard of this person. It's looking like it's going to be Aaron. Not going to blank, I'm not going to lie. Commanding position, that's going to be at the helm. It was Aaron. Located to a builder. Is this going to be sighted? Where a building is sighted? State symbol of Massachusetts. Hmm, I don't know if I know what this is. Service that's not good? And this is wordplay. I wonder if they're talking about tennis service. Not service you would get at a restaurant. I guess the pun could also be about cell phone service. Hmm, I don't know. Daily of Cagney and Lacey. I don't think I know this one. Singer actress Kit. Shouldn't that be Eartha Kit? Is there another Kit that sings and acts? Eartha doesn't even fit. Hmm, interesting. Yote Blank? Shouldn't this be Yo Te Amo? I love you? Is this really not dancing? Hmm. That's interesting. Let's put in Yo Te Amo here. The Tasmanian one has been extinct since the 19th century. Shouldn't that be the Tasmanian devil? Hmm. What's going on here? Capiche? An equivalent phrase? I guess this could be get me? I don't know, it feels like there's something very strange happening at the end of this theme answer. Like wind power vis-a-vis -vis natural gas. Well, that would be greener. Is this going to end in egg? Marbled savory snack from China. Oh, man. Um, hmm. Is this an emu? Maybe there was a Tasmanian emu instead. Singer actress Kit. Hmm. Maybe she would fit in here. Is it EA? Is it Eartha like that? Uh, hmm. That looks a little weird to me. I didn't think she had an A in her name. Talk and talk and talk and talk. Well, that should be Yammer. Daily. I think I have heard of a time daily. Hmm. What in the world? Square en route? Oh, wait a minute. 
So this is a square on root instead of square root, and it's lengthened by an en, lengthening. Hmm. Yeah, maybe square root gets an extra n, square on root. Very, very interesting. Okay. Service that's not good. Yeah, this is going to be a let. That's when the serve in tennis hits the net. Okay, state symbol of Massachusetts. That could be an elm tree. That sounds very likely. My package arrived, an equivalent phrase. Um, it's not, it's here. That's what I would really want. Hmm. Herman Melville's second novel. I believe that was Omu. I think that's right. That's odd, an equivalent phrase. Hmm. It seems like that could be a lot of things. Look at this, we have an EN here. I wonder if that's the lengthening part of this next theme answer. Realtor's exclamation about a primary bathroom. <laughs> um, is it gonna start with home? Primary bathroom, hmm. That's odd. I don't know, we're gonna need some more help here. My package arrived, it came, there we go channel hmm this could be a verb or a noun i'm not sure which way it's gonna go other in spanish isn't that otro hmm how you might walk after getting great news i would want this to be lightly or happily or something that's not even close to fitting this is probably going to be another theme answer how Shamu acknowledged the crowd's appreciation. It looks like it's going to start with Marine. Marine Encore? Marine Corps, yeah, that's a phrase. Yeah, that's a branch of the military. Marine Corps into Marine Encore. Yeah, I think we have gotten the hang of this theme. We're lengthening everyday phrases. How you might walk. Is it on toe? That doesn't really make sense to me. Skewer. Hmm. Is this about making fun of something? That's what it feels like it should be about. Got by just fine. So this should be managed or something like that. Hmm. Channel. It's not a concourse. Hmm. Pinkish red shade. It's not crimson. Man, we're not having a lot of luck building down through here. Structure on the continental shelf. A structure? What is that? Hmm, that's odd. Maybe this is just weird. And what is this? It starts with how? About a primary bathroom. Hmm, I have no idea. The blank company? Franz Hall's portrait. Hmm. I don't think I've ever heard of this painting. And this is the continental shelf, right? Maybe this is an oil rig. Yeah, for drilling for oil. Showing signs of life. Oh man, is this a stir? You're moving? Landing info in brief. Yeah, that should be ETAs. Go from 60 to zero, say? So this is about braking? Hmm, maybe they're not talking about speed in a car. This feels like a misdirection to me. Maybe this is about temperature instead of speed. Hmm, I don't know. Something a parent might tell you to watch. They'd probably tell you to watch your language. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Okay, a boatload, that could be lots? Yeah. On the deep. Is that a sea? Yeah, you're sailing the ocean. God who was said to be in love with his sister while still in the womb! Exclamation mark. Um, okay, so this is probably going to be Osiris. I don't know what else could fit here. Core position. Hmm. It's not like a plank to strengthen your core. I'm not sure what they're going for here. Took a load off could be sat. Maker of the Switch console. Okay, that's Nintendo. Hmm. Core position. Oh, maybe this is not 
like a job or a way of arranging your body. It could be a belief, it could be a tenet. And this is meager, the meager company. That's a great word. Okay, um, how unsweet it is. Oh my God, what a crazy theme answer. How unsweet it is. An unsweet bathroom, how sweet it is. Middlemarch novelist, 1871. That was George Eliot, right? Okay. Pie crust ingredient, I'm not gonna know that one. Thing to bash at a bash. That's definitely gonna be a pinata. Nice, that's a lot of fun. Keep your head up rapper informally. Keep your head up. I know I've heard this song. Hmm, I'm not sure who this is. Poorly, that could be ill, especially in the UK. Buzz about space, and this is wordplay, so this is not about gossip about space. I think this is a hidden proper noun. This is gonna be Buzz Aldrin, the astronaut. Thickheads, I guess this is gonna be clods. Yeah, and then this is Pac. I guess this is Tupac, yeah. Sorrowful sound. Is that a moan? Act unprofessionally. And this is more wordplay, so this is not about not acting correctly in a work environment. I wonder if this is going to be about acting on the stage? Yeah, this could be emote. That's overacting. That's pretty funny. Take down. That could be jot down. Comedian actor Ken of the Hangover films. Isn't there an actor named Ken Jeong? I want to say it's like that. Let's see if this is right. Okay, so maybe this is reset? Hmm. Like resetting a timer or a stopwatch, something like that? It moves one step at a time. Hmm. Uh, what are they talking about here? Where someone might fiddle with your dance moves. More wordplay. Uh, hmm. I don't even know what the standard reading of this would be. Fiddle with your dance moves. It has to be about fiddling while you're dancing. Uh, maybe it's a hoedown. That's really, really clever. I love it. Okay, it moves one step at a time. I guess that's a shoe. Remove from Zillow, say? Is this D-list? I think that sounds right. Ain't I a blank? Sojourner truth speech? This is Ain't I a Woman. Okay, between poetically. I think this should be Twixt. <laughs> That's a fun entry. Leading to a sale price. Hmm, maybe that's only, only $9.99. So this is WTO, Group Regulating Global Commerce. Yeah, the World Trade Organization. And we have Emil, man's name that spells a fruit backward. Lime, yeah, that checks out. Some NFL lineman in brief. Okay, I think this either has to be defensive tackles or defensive ends, maybe. It's going to be an S here. Hey, I had it first. An equivalent phrase. Well, we want this to be a T or a G. Is it let go? Yeah, maybe. I guess it could be Lego also. Takes the stage. Is that goes on? Maybe in order to emote? Yeah. Lacking emotional toughness. Is that soft? Tour de France stage? I think in French those are called an étage. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but I think it's like this. Yeah, I think that's stage. Envelops. Is it swallows or swaddles? Hmm. Byproduct of burning tobacco. That should be tar. It's not either of those. Hmm. Cruise. It's not gangs. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder if we can get this next theme answer. It's a grid spanner. Prepare for a sword fight, McKellen, Fleming, and all other namesakes out there. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um. Well, this has to be about Ian's because there's Ian McKellen and Ian Fleming. Is this 
Galaxy of the Galaxy? Guardians of the Galaxy? Hmm. I think it has to be some kind of pun based on that phrase. Maybe it's on Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so this has to be the fencing spelling. On guard Ians of the Galaxy. Holy moly, that was complicated. Okay. Pound who wrote, in a station of the Metro. I imagine that's gonna be Ezra Pound. That's just a guess. Uncurbed enthusiasm. Is that zeal? Casino do-overs? Ooh, um... What is that called? Is this doing a bet over? I'm not sure what this is. Neurodegenerative disease for short. That could be ALS, that's Lou Gehrig's disease. Show submission in a way that has to be Neil. Jump in Jehoshaphat? Oh my god, what a fun clue. An equivalent phrase. I guess it's gonna be egads. That's kind of quaint in the same way. Flat topped military hat. Oh, um, I don't know if I know this one. Skewer. I guess this is just about literally stabbing something. It's gonna be impale. Oh, I have seen this before. Is it a kepi? I think that's right. Uh, on air? I'm walking on air? Yeah, maybe. And this is gonna be made it, got by just fine. Channel. Uh, what in the world? I have no idea what this is gonna be. CT, this looks wrong. Maybe it's not made it. Is it made do? That would make sense. Channel, maybe this is a conduit, there we go. This could be coral, that's reddish pink. Ocean State School. I think the Ocean State is Rhode Island, so this is going to be University of Rhode Island. Yeah. Still competing. That's got to be in it. Sends unwanted texts to maybe. Is this going to be spams? That could be. Injury from a fist fight. That's got to be a fat lip. We have DF? C sharp equivalent. Oh, okay. That could be D flat. Slowly move in. That has to be ease in. Casino do-overs. Oh, I guess it's re-deals. Yeah. Totally loved. It's not adored. Hmm. 1990s fitness fad. That is Taibo. I was definitely aware of that in the 90s. Totally loved. That's got to be 8 up. Yeah. Cable channel with a comedy drama sisters. Is that BET? Electronic toy with a blue pole handle. Hmm. Uh, a blue pole handle. I'm not sure what this is. The old you, and this is wordplay. So this is not about how you used to be. It's about an old version of the word you, which was thou. Very nice. Oh man, I still have no idea here. Show off. Is this a hot dog? <laughs> I like that. That's pretty funny. Some beachwear. Hmm. Is it going to be thongs? It could be. Flavor enhancer for short. Yeah, that could be MSG. Monosodium glutamate. That's blank. You may proceed. That's a go? Yeah. Pummel. Is it cream? That does fit. Flatbread made with atta. Yes, we've learned this on the crossword before. Atta is the flour that's used to make naan and roti. Okay, um... I still have no idea, man. Place for a lamp. Is that an end table? Yeah. Oh, is it bop it? Yeah, I think it is. Oh my goodness. Okay, finally. What students in a karate class are often doing. Hmm. We have a chop here. I really want this to be about breaking planks of wood. Could it be chopping wood? Um, hmm. It could end in wood. 
chopping on wood? That doesn't really make sense. Let's see if this is a W. Joy of TV. Shouldn't that be Joy Behar? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, the wood isn't here at least. Like many lifeguards. Is that going to be tan? Yeah, they're outside all day. Present at birth. This should be natal. The adjective natal. Yeah. TV that's trash, e.g. Hmm. What is this talking about? TV that's trash. Baby that rarely sleeps at night. Is this going to be a baby owl? An owlet? Yeah. They're nocturnal. They would not be sleeping at night. Hmm. What in the world is this about? It's full of hot air. It's not a hot air balloon. Hmm. They have to be talking about something specific here. Charge for a tutor. It's not a fee? Hmm. Maybe it's someone they're responsible for. That kind of charge. It could be a 2T, right? That's very, very tricky. I love that clue. Infuse with... Hmm. Wait a minute. Doesn't 2T only have one T here? Hmm. Maybe that's not right after all. Infuse with... Patella neighbor in brief. That's in your knee. So maybe this could be your anterior cruciate ligament. Blank film. Hmm. I have no idea on this one. Counterpart of full? I guess this has to be less. The suffix less, right? Mournful peels. Oof, man. So this is going to be like the peeling of a bell. A mournful peeling. Hmm. I'm really not sure what should go here. I'm looking at this theme answer again. It feels like it should have something to do with a chopping block. Chopping on block? Chopping block. Hmm. On block. Does that mean as a group? Chopping on block? I don't know if I've ever heard that term before, but it makes a lot of sense. So I'm going to put it in and see if that's right. Yeah, this is going to be imbue with blank film, maybe a cult film. Wow, some of these are very tricky. This is going to be Nels, like a death knell. Oh my god, there's some very tricky vocab today. And this is going to be a mentee. It's full of hot air. Hmm. What is this? Fried pastries popular in New Orleans. Yeah, this is going to be beignets. There's actually a little vegan cafe near me that makes beignets that are really good. Uh, hmm. It's not a kilt, is it? TV that's trash. Is it e-waste? Oh my god, they're actually talking about a television set that's in the garbage. It's e-waste. Wow, that is super, super tricky. On Juneteenth author, blank Gordon Reed. I have no idea about this one. Oh, man. Oh, wait. This should be a kiln, right? That's full of hot air. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, hmm. Maybe this is a net? That would fit very nicely with this H here. North African stew, or the dish it's cooked in. Hmm. I wonder if I've heard of this. Where's down has to be erodes. Let's put in a net. I feel like that's a pretty solid guess. One may get in the way of a collaboration. That's going to be an ego. Purge of is going to be rid of. Hmm. Yeah, this is not looking familiar. Play opener. That'll be act one. Potato peeler targets. Is it eyes? Like the eyes of the potato? Hmm. Yeah, maybe. This would be tagine. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Yeah. Let's see if we can get this next theme answer. Challenge for a court jester. Well, it's got to start with the royal, right? Because he's in a royal court. The royal. I would want this to be the royal we. So if you add on to it, it would be the royal ennui. <laughs> 
That would be quite a challenge for a jester, I guess. Business card abbreviation, that's gonna be telephone. What's so flippin' easy to cook with? And this is more wordplay. So I guess this is not just a slangy way to describe something that's easy to cook with. This is gonna be something you literally flip with. That's gonna be a spatula. Very, very funny, okay. Envelops, yeah, this is gonna be shrouds. Like something is shrouded in mystery. Cruise. Hmm, I wonder if this is wrong. This is not looking like anything to me. And this is our last theme answer. Dish cooked to smooth things over after a fight. Well, this has to start with makeup. Hmm, what would you cook? I don't know, we're gonna need some more help here. Kind of high fat, low carb diet. Yeah, that's gonna be keto. One small bite could be a taste. Spiny sea creatures? That has to be urchins. What is this? Dinner at which Dayanu is sung. I'm gonna guess that this is a satyr. I don't know that for sure, but it looks pretty good. Pops could be dada, another slang term for your dad. Utterances of agreement. Wait a minute, shouldn't this be amens? Maybe this is just dads. Yeah, I kind of like that better. It's plural dads. Okay, so this is gonna be amens. This will be mint, bread maker, and this is wordplay, that's pretty funny. They're not talking about baked bread, they're talking about a slang term for money. You make money at a mint. That's a good one. This is gosses? That can't be right. Cruise. Hmm. Which one of these is wrong? They all seem so good. The only one I'm not 100% sure about is this G here. Well, let's take that out and save that for last. Abbreviation in a birth announcement. Is that gonna be pounds? Yeah, it's how much the baby weighed. Intimidating in a cool way. Is it badass? Yeah. Contents of a corn maze. Hmm. Um, it's not shucks, is it? No, that's taking the cover off the corn. Maybe it's corn stalks. That makes much more sense. Soul connector, and this is more wordplay. We've had so much wordplay today. This has been great. Soul connector. Okay, so I'm not quite sure what the standard reading of this would be. I guess it would be about something that has only one connection to something else. But maybe this is something to do with the sole of your shoe. Hmm, maybe it's a cleat, yeah. On some cleats you actually have to connect the little spikes into the bottom of the shoe. Wow, that one was pretty hard. Rhymes with an eponymous production company. That's Shonda Rhimes, yeah, she's made a lot of television shows. There was a whole theme about her actually a few weeks ago. Hang ominously. That's gonna be a loom. Unlike pi. I guess that's gonna be rational because pi isn't a rational number. Business magnate who is a Stanford University dropout. Yeah, that's gonna be Elon Musk. I wonder if he's ever gonna go back and get his degree. Okay, word with bus or whistle. Bus stop, whistle stop. Yeah, I think that's right. High point of a trip to Europe, and one last wordplay clue here. So this is not just something that's really cool when you go on a trip to Europe. It's going to literally be something at a high elevation. It's gonna be an Alp. Yeah, the Alps are really beautiful. Actor Omar, that should be Omar Epps, right? So this is gonna be makeup entree, makeup tray. Oh my God. So this would be a makeup tray as in like a place where you would keep your makeup. Makeup entree. Holy moly, these were pretty tricky theme answers. All right, so what is this gonna be? Hmm, I really can't think of anything that would fit in here that would make sense. Well, I guess let's go ahead and try and put this G in here and maybe gosses is just a word I've never heard of before. Gee whiz, yeah, this is not super surprising. All right, let me see if I can track down our mistake here. Oh, wait a minute, that didn't take long. I was trying to think of another letter that could go in here and make sense. I think a P is actually the correct letter here. Etape? 
Uh, yeah, I think that's a stage in the Tour de France. And then this would be posses, crews, yeah, groups of people. All right, let's go ahead and throw this P in there and see if that will, in fact, do it for us. All right, a Sunday puzzle in just under 50 minutes. That's a pretty good average time for a kind of tricky Sunday puzzle. So today's theme was all about lengthening, adding the letters EN to everyday phrases to get new wackified phrases. Yeah, and it seems like part of the original phrase is always spelled differently. So square root turns into square on root. How sweet it is turns into how unsweet it is. Marine Corps turns into Marine Encore. Guardians of the Galaxy becomes On Guard Ians of the Galaxy. That's probably the craziest of the bunch, and that's saying something. We have Makeup Tray becoming Makeup Entree. Chopping Block becomes Chopping On Block. And The Royal We becomes The Royal Ennui. That one might be my favorite, that's really funny. On top of this very punny theme, we had some good wordplay clues. I liked Soul Connector for Cleat, and also What's So Flippin' Easy to Cook With for Spatula. This one was very funny too, where someone might fiddle with your dance moves for Hoedown. And there was a couple other clues that had misdirections in them that I thought were very clever. Opportunities for singles, at bats, yeah this is not about single people. And also this clue for e-waste, TV that's trash e.g. That's very, very clever. They're not talking about reality TV or something. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that particularly lengthy Sunday solve. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the easiest puzzle of the week, the Monday. And I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.